What if the Soviet Union never diverted the rivers feeding the Aral Sea for cotton irrigation in the 1960s? This was once the world's fourth largest lake, spanning an area larger than Ireland. Today, it's 90% gone. But imagine if those rivers kept flowing. Millions of fishermen would still be hauling in massive catches instead of fleeing their homes as environmental refugees. The thriving ports of Aralsk and Moynak would remain bustling fishing centers, not ghost towns surrounded by rusted ships. Without the exposed toxic lake bed, there would be no poisonous dust storms carrying salt and chemicals across Central Asia. The regional climate would have stayed stable, preventing the extreme temperatures that now plague the area. Children wouldn't suffer from respiratory diseases caused by breathing contaminated air. The massive body of water would continue moderating the local climate, keeping the region fertile and habitable. One of the world's most productive fisheries would still exist today. A single policy decision destroyed an entire sea and displaced millions.